Hello, hello, my friends. It's Dion at The Blushing Mint. I hope you guys are all doing well and everything is going great in your little corners of the world. Um, I am taking a moment out in my shed, um, in my little craft corner, and I am working through creating some ephemera and whatnot for my next journal, which is um, Nature's Remedy, using the kit collaboration between Artie Mays and Tracy Fox. And um, I've needed a little bit of inspiration um, for some new ideas to share with you guys, new to me ideas um, to share with you guys. And so I have been binge watching Andrea's channel um, on her when she was actually when this kit first came out. And so she made this really cool double pocket, actually it's a triple pocket flip thing made. And I honestly can't tell you if she made hers with envelopes or not because I got busy in the kitchen and I didn't pay attention at the beginning, but I'm doing my version with um, envelopes. And so I created the first one just to make sure I kind of had my concept. And so we have a larger envelope and a smaller envelope and they go together and then you end up with two pockets out of that. And then when you put them together, you have a third pocket at the top. And then when this whole thing goes together, of course it won't go together like that, it'll go together like this. Then you put a piece of muslin or other kind of material in between and then it creates a flip. And so we're actually going to create the second side and then cover our backs and put it together and um, see what happens. So, and the beauty of this is it literally takes three sheets of paper from your kit. So um, of the kit contents, it takes three pieces of paper and um, one of the sheets of tags. So this is this is a super great, easy project, just utilizing minimal supplies from the kit. And then I have one piece of, um, I already used a part of it, one piece of paper from that I dyed the other day in our video um, to use as kind of like my lining inside my pockets here. So we're gonna recreate this today. So that is our game plan. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get our envelopes ready. And so all you do to do this is, first of all, you need to cut down your short envelope or your, you can use two envelopes that fit together better. I was digging through my stash and this is just where I ended up. So I'm going to cut my longest envelope, the same size as my other one. And so I'm going to do that first. Get those going the same size. And then what we need to do is we need to open up our envelopes and where the where this pocket starts, we need to cut our envelope off flush there. So you could do this with two pieces of paper. You don't, or with a piece of paper, you don't need an envelope. Um, it's just, it's just what I'm working with. So we're left with something on this envelope that looks like so. This one here, all we do is we just cut down where the tops of our pockets meet together. And it's okay that this isn't flush because when we actually cover our, when we actually do our covers, it becomes flush. And so everything is going to work out just fine. So, okay, so now we've readied our two envelopes. When they go together, oh, let me. I think the lawnmower guy might be at the house. Hang on, I gotta turn the alarms off here. Sorry. Okay. So it goes something like this. 
and now what we're going to do is we need to line and we want to make sure that um, when we put these together that our opening is going to be at the top. So if it lays in like this, hold on, I got to make sure I got my things going the right direction because this needs to be a mirror copy, a mirror copy of this one here. So our opening is going to go like so. No, like this. Okay, so I need to be working as a mirrored copy. That I got to remember. All right, so the first thing I need to do is I need to cover the, the side of this envelope. So about three inches covers that whole opening there. And then cut it down. to fit inside our envelope. Okay, like this. Perfection. And I'm using glue stick. Glue stick is not my favorite, but for the insides of the envelope, I found that actually trying to get my glue stick into the envelope or to get my paper with the glue stick on it in the envelope without, you know, is just, it's such a hassle. I just, I hate it. So I'm going to glue inside my envelope. Then I'm going to lay my paper in here right to the edge is my goal. as close to that edge as I possibly can. All right, and then I can push it down here. And I have just a hair overlap. I can just cut that. Just cut that right off. Okay, so that's that one, and it goes like this. This one here is a little easier um, because we just have to, we have that opening on top that makes it a little easier to get it covered, and we don't need a whole, we don't need a whole lot. We're just lining where our where our little hole punch, um, where our little thumb notch is, is what we're doing there. So with this, again, I just apply some glue inside here. Whoop. Everything's going to get covered, so it's okay. I am not sure what is happening at my daughter's house that the alarms are going off. Bear with me here. Got to do a quick check. Sorry, friends. She's not home, so... Oh. FedEx is delivering Chewy. The dogs are going. The dogs and the animals. The dogs and the cat are going to be so happy. They got some food coming. Chewy to the rescue. No starving animals in that house. Okay. So then I just trim off the extra here. Like so. All right. 
So everything there is covered nicely. Get rid of that glue knot there. That might as well just glue my page together here since it's wanting to be stubborn. And just get rid of that paper. Okay. Now, um, we can go ahead, now that we've got that covered, we can go ahead and close this edge here up because we want just a pocket here. So that can get closed up. All right, and now if you're if you're gonna ink, I like to do um, a good layer of inking now around all the edges and everything. Just to we're gonna be covering everything, so it's not like. Sorry, I guess I have a somebody who is insistent upon riding their motorcycle out here in front of the house today. I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, I might have to go put a stop to that though. Hang on. Sorry about that. Can't figure out where they are coming from and there's nobody that should be down on our road riding motorbikes. So anywho, so you just ink everything up here if you are an inker. Same for our other side here. And you don't have to do your inside edge there because we're going to cover that up. Okay. Front, back. Yeah, this is a super awesome idea. And then I remembered as I was watching her do this again, I remember watching watching it the first time, however many years ago. It seems like maybe it was two or three years ago now. And um, I was like, oh, I loved it then. And I feel like maybe I made one back then, but I don't, I mean, I just don't remember. I don't remember if I put it in a journal or what I did with it. Okay, so now we know that I didn't do a good job gluing. Jeez Louise, friends. Jeez Louise, I tell you. Okay. Okay. And we know this needs to be the back here. So the first thing we're going to do is because we're dealing with our mirror image. So if this is my one side, then this is my other side. And so this piece of paper was like this. And so now this piece of paper is going to look like this. So what I want to do and I'm just going to use glue stick for this because I'm going to literally cover the whole of this shorter or narrower envelope. So we're going to just use our glue stick and we're going to get a good amount of glue on here. Um, and when you're using glue stick, you want to make sure you really do your um, corners and your edges very good because that's where you really need need that major stick is at your corners and your edges okay and I want to make sure that my envelope is going the right direction it's going out this way so then I'm going to just lay my paper in here straight as possible all the way and then I have this little flat um, 
I don't know what they call these things, just lost my mind. Um, anywho, but this makes sure that I get all those edges down good. And everything is covered well. And then I'm just going to cut any excess off here. All right, and across this corner here. Being careful not to cut open your cut open your envelope so that you still have see I did so I did exactly what I told you not to do <sighs> see this is a my husband called and told me that I had to go into the shop and so I'm like I'm in the middle of videoing and so now I'm in a hurry and I should not be in a hurry so I'm just gonna glue my little pocket back shut here but yes, you have to be very careful if you're cutting an envelope or anything like that, that you don't cut your material apart. Okay, so that is our first one for over here. And that's going to open like this. So then this one, we are going to cover with this. And it, same thing, you literally just cover the whole thing and cut off the excess. So we're going to do that. We're going to cover our envelope with glue very well, making sure not to get inside that frame because we don't want to glue it shut. Okay, and then we just line this up. Give that another go here at this. Okay, that's better. And then get that all pressed in there nicely. Okay, and again, we're just going to cut the excess off here. It has been rain deluge of rain on and off all afternoon. It's crazy. Okay. All right, so then, now what we're going to do, okay, I got to keep remembering because I want everything to flip to my right and I need to remember that this needs to go to the left. It's backwards for me today. Um, so what I do is I measure, well, I need to go around and I want to ink all of these edges again now just oh just made a mess out of that it's all right i can cover it with something i can cover it with something that's what happens because i'm in a hurry i told my husband he was messing with my schedule Try to do better. Try to do better. All 
All right. So now we've got those inked. And where our corners come to, or where our pockets come together, I want to grab my ruler. And I believe it's about seven and a half. And so I want, because I want my circles to be marked up as close as possible to the same, to the same. So that makes these about three and three quarters here. And three and three quarters here. So then when I punch um, my circle is going to be good. But before I do that, now because this envelope here um, had the notch, in, you know, had the envelope in it, um, I want to, I want to just reinforce this edge here. So I'm doing that with some washi tape because I want to just make sure that that pocket is good and reinforced when we put it in. So I'm just going to take a piece of washi tape about like yay. And then I'm just going to put it and I know that this is sticky enough washi tape that I do not need to glue it down ahead of time. Um, and so I just want to line it up right along the top edge of this envelope and if I need to cut it down I can cut it it's no big deal I just want that extra hit of strength and durability there so and I'll just grab my scissors and cut what I may need to there. Okay, so now I just need to take my circle punch to make my thumb notch. And I take my circle punch and I just line it up in the center there. And my circle punch needs to be sharpened or something. It is, it is not good. I'll fix it. Give me a second. Let me punch this one. It does not like single layers of paper. It does not like them. So what I have to do I have to do this and I have to drop it on the floor. See guys, seriously, this is what happens. I should probably just not have recorded today, maybe. All right. Try to match up my little notches here. They're okay. I'm going to actually just notch this one just a hair bigger because that other one went just a hair deep. So there we go. All right. Now we're going to ink those up. Ink up your little notches. like this. Okay. 
And if this is our top, this has to be our top. It's gonna, um, let me move this out of the way. We're done with that. So we want to leave our top open as a pocket. And so what we're going to do is we're going to glue this side of the back, the three sides is what we're going to end up gluing on our narrower pocket. And we don't want to get wild with our glue because we want to leave as much room available for our pocket as possible. So we want to make sure that we're just getting our glue on our very edges. That's why Art Glitter Glue is great because of its thin um, tip and the good pour, the good glue ratio and stick ratio that we get with it. So just lining that up pushing that together. On my glue book might be a good idea. Wiping any excess glue from around there. Okay. Then So then we have our top pocket and two pockets here. So that top pocket we've got, I cut a tag from the kit that fits right into there. So it looks like this. Now what we do is we're going to actually put these together with this piece of muslin and um, then you can sew it into a signature or whatever. So I'm just going to, okay, so first hold the phone. I have to decide. Um, so on the back of these, we can decorate these however we want. Um, <coughs> Pardon me. I want to leave mine open for like journaling spots. But because in my signatures, I lined all of my papers with the journal, with the lined journal paper that came with this kit. So all of my printed papers are lined on the back with that same journaling. So I don't want to use that same paper to do the backs of these. So I am taking another one of the more plain ones, more plain papers, and I'm going to line the backs of mine with this. Here's the kicker. Now we need to decide, do we want our strip of fabric to show over that lined paper. So that creates an issue. Do you want to sew the strip first or do you care if that shows over your lined paper? Now for me, I think I'm going to go ahead. I don't think I care. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line my papers first. So if this is my papers, Um, yep. Then I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to glue like crazy here onto the back with my glue stick. Glue stick is not my friends. It's not my favorite, but... In this instance, it works fine. Okay. 
lay this on here straight as possible. Take my tag out because I'm going to have to cut here. Bone folder. That's what this is. This is a weird shaped bone folder I got for Christmas a couple years ago and I love it. I think my sister got it for me. And then I'm going to trim off the excess. I'm going to use scissors so I don't end up trimming the envelope. Because, you know, my luck hasn't been so good. all the way around here no edges left uninked no edges left uninked okay so there's that one all right next one just like the other one Get our glue book. Lots of glue. Lots of glue. But I love this. So this could be a standalone folder. This could be in your journal. It can go. I'll show you when we get there. It can go in the center. It can be a cover. Um, I, I just, I loved this idea and I had completely forgotten about it. And that's why it's always good if you have time to watch YouTube videos, if you're bored, um, to go back and watch some older, older videos. Um, I feel like the YouTubers that I follow, um, one, one makes something and then everybody makes a variation off of that something, it seems like. Um, so if you go back a few years to some of the people that you follow, um, you find old ideas that can become new again. Like, I haven't seen this from anybody in since then. So, um, yeah. So anyway, I was really excited to um be reunited with this project because like i said i do remember making one back two three years ago however many years ago it was but i don't remember what i did with it so obviously i gave it away or put it in a journal that i sold or something because it's not amongst my collections now um so yeah so And so an old idea has become new again for me anyway. And it just so happens that she was, she used this kit to create it. But that is okay with me. Because no matter what, we all use different pages. We all have a slightly different style. And so it's okay. It's okay um, as long as you give credit where credit is due. So, Andrea, thank you. Thank you for having this idea on your channel for me to be able to work from. Okay, so now, now that we have both of those done, so fronts, backs, and then we have our fabric. Now, we just need to adhere our 
and leave a little space because if you're going to put it into a journal, you want to have room for it to, to flip. So I'm just going to put a line of glue on the edge here because I'm going to be sewing these. So I don't need it to hold steadfast and true. I just need it to hold itself in its position. Maybe some semblance of straightness would be good. Okay. And then our other one. Like so. most important thing is that they are even and your gap in between them is even. So then it actually can fold either way. Like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back, I'm going to sew these, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show it to you. And then if we have a few minutes, we're going to decorate. Okay, so that is sewed together. Um, my machine was feeling my tension issues. And um, so I have a tension issue on one side um, and I fixed it for the other side. So obviously my machine was feeling my own tension. Um, but anywho, so that is what it looks like. Now, if we were to use this in our journal, so you could create this. It can go either way, guys. It can go like so, and it could actually be the cover of a journal. Um, it could go inside, inside, and it can just be an additional piece of your journal. Mind you, it does create additional bulk. Um, it could be the center of a signature. And I believe I'm going to end up using it as a center of a signature. And to do that, I would go like this and sew it into the center of my journal. And then um, this folds up like this. You've got your pockets, your tucks, and then you still have your journaling space. We can add additional um, decoration back here on our band if we want. Um, there's tons and tons and tons of options with these. We're going to add just a little bit of decoration down here um, on ours. Um, so I pulled... So these are the ones that I had um, printed on cardstock. So these are much heavier than um, the other papers, but I loved these little tickets. And so I thought, well, I will cut some tickets out and we'll maybe put some tickets on these as embellishments. So there's tons and tons of ephemera in this kit. It's a big kit, especially when you buy both of them. So um, yeah, there is tons of ephemera in here to play with. 
reaching for a hole punch because that's what makes these little corners perfect. They look like little tickets. It's just the edge of a little hole punch. Pink those up a bit. Okay. So or your little circle punch. Either one works. I'm not a fan of that hole puncher. Gonna use my little circle punch. Okay, and a little bit more distressing here. All right, so we've got a couple of those, and then I also had my label stickers from when I was doing the collage yesterday or whatever day that was. And I thought, well, we could always add that in. I like this one over here. And Maybe the red there. I feel like we need another color, a different color over here. Ooh, look at that blue. I like that blue. With that peeking out, I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's do that. Okay, now I did learn that these stickers are not sticky. So we need to add glue to use these. They feel sticky, but they're not. They feel sticky, but they don't stay stuck. Maybe that's the right way to put it. Then we'll do our little ticket here. Oh, my dog thinks he's going to be a big dog and he's going to bark at something. Growl, I guess. He didn't hasn't barked yet. He's just growling. All right, same thing over on the other side. What I do to one, I want to do to the other, just even though these may not, you know, in your instance, be side by side or whatever, but I do think I'm going to use this as the center of my signature. So I do what I do to one, I want to 
kind of do to each to the other so that I have some cohesion here. We're going to use this one. Okay, I like it. And then there were two butterflies in this kit or on this page, these pages. And I think I'm going to do a quick fussy cut. around here. I am not a good fussy cutter. It is not in my best skill set. I'm going to cut the antennas off because they're barely seeable anyway. And it is what it is. I'm sorry these poor butterflies aren't going to be able to fly. They don't have their antennas. I don't know, maybe they can fly without antennas. I really don't know what antennas do for a butterfly, but anywho, mine aren't going to have them. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh. I should not have fussy cut, fussy cut when I'm in a hurry. Uh, Lord have mercy, I'm telling you. Uh, Dun, 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 dun. I think I want it down at the bottom. I do, I do. Like so. I like it. I do, I do. And the other one we're going to have up at the top. Oh, I guess I have it right here. I'm like looking all around for it. Hey. Fussy cutting, fussy cutting, not my favorite thing. I know you have crickets and all those other things i have one too i don't know how to use it it would probably make my fussy cutting so much better dun, 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 dun. i know you guys really liked that song but you know it's just what was on my mind okay oh this one's got a big old all right. I probably should take a class on the anatomy of a butterfly so that I know what the right words are because I was going to call that a big old nose. But, <laughs> just saying. I don't know what it is. If this is his tail, to me, that should have been his nose or something. I don't know. It's probably a dang girl anyway. And so... <laughs> All right, friends. Good Lord. I need to end this video because I am becoming a hot mess every minute I'm on here. So there we have it. This is our, I don't know what to call this yet, but um, I love it. I am excited about it. And um, we are definitely go. Oh, I'm like all looking for the signature. Yep, it's right here in front of me. I'm just crafting on top of it. So it is going to go into our journal. Like so, it's going to be the center of our signature. And we're going to sew that right in there. And 
I just love it. There's plenty of journaling spots, lots of pockets and tucks and places to put things. So this is a great fun project and I love that it could be a cover of a journal and I actually think that maybe I will make on the second journal that I make using Tracy's, the kit from Tracy, um, I may use that as the actual cover of, and put it like this, and this could actually be the cover of our journal, and I'm loving the idea for that, so I very well may do that. So, anywho, friends, there you have it. There is our craft of the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I apologize for all of the interruptions and the fact that I'm like a crazy hot mess, but um, I hope you got a little something out of that, and until the next time, friends, I hope you guys are well. I hope you find time to craft and do the things that you like to do for yourselves. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Until then, friends, be well. We'll chat soon. Bye-bye.